The birth call sleeps in tattered folds, thin and conclusive as a fingerprint. Three months ago, my mother dies in the same hospital where, on November 18th, 1953, she gives me birth. The melanoma sucks its thumb and dreams against her gut. Sometimes it kicks. I pick her up and light is shining through her skull, wrapped in its silvery tissue like a Christmas fruit. I wake her for her feed, scrape meaning from her faint and random exclamations of surprise, spoken through morphia. There is a closure here, soiled nappies gathered to a tidy knot. There is an echo in the Detol haunted corridor. The registrar removes the cream cap of her awful fountain pen. Later, cremation, and the curtain trembles. Emptying her council house, shoe boxes full of old light, war and buried weddings. There, between the obsolete instruction manuals in a bed of milk token and metal, rests the gorgeous talisman. Frayed bandage wrap, 1919. Permanent finish with no stiffening or dressing states the tiny label. Postage stamp from some new cannibal republic. My grandmother's birth blood in unlikely carmine stains against blue paper and pressed on it in an ochre wax, the core. Rag edged, a map of lost interiors, first continents. Upon its parchment breath, the log of older tides. <laughs>